Right then, this is the third time I'm trying to record this now. Um, <laughs> I've got my issues with the recorder, no issues with the software for Smartboard. Stuff gets updated in the middle of the summer and you just it kind of throws you a little bit when you come back. Right, let's give this a go. So, we're looking at non mutually exclusivity. Now, we know it's mutually exclusive if they both can't happen at the same time. So, that gives us that Venn diagram there. Where A or B is just adding them together, and that's thicker than it was before. Put that on the thin one. Let's see if it works. Nope. What's the point? Right, that'll disappear in a minute, I reckon. Uh, get rid of that. Right, so I've got a thick pen, sorry about that. Right, so, but if there's an overlap, like there is here, for A or B, so this is a probability of A or B, if they're not mutually exclusive, we have to remove the, the, um, the overlap, which is that part there, to give us the A or B. Now you've done that at school, you've done that when you've been doing probability in school. So it should be all right for us, but you probably haven't seen this proper formula for it. So if I use this formula, I've got A or B is A and B, take away the overlap, A and B. So A or B is 0.2 plus 0.45 minus 0.1. So is that 0.55 then? A or B? 0.55, there you go. Now there's one for you to have a go at. Please have a go at that one, I'll just review it. There. So that's your first example. Let's have a look at the next page. For my, what, for my use, give us the one you want to set down. Right, so on A and B now, I think it's always important to always write down the equation. It just reminds you what you're doing and you don't put stuff in the wrong place, which I'm quite likely to do. Uh, it's only my second day back in work, so I'm still on holiday mode. I'm not particularly wanting to get up. Right, so I'm doing a little switch around. Um, if I put I've got to P, A, and B. That'd be the 0 0.65 and then 2 minus 0 0.6. So for A and B, 0 0.05. There you go. And then there's one there for you to have a go at as well. So you have a go at that one, I'll just reveal it. <coughs> Hopefully that's the same one. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at this next bit then. So if they're independent, this independent bit, if you remember, that's what you do on the, the tree diagram. So A and B is just A times B. So I want the probability of A or B, so that's A plus B minus A and B, but what I'm saying is that A and B is the two multiplied together, aren't I? So A or B is A plus B minus A and B. If you stick that in your calculator, according to the completed part, that's 0.56. If you wanted to work out the A and B first, then please do. I think the uh, completed version of this one does that. Yeah. So it works out the A and B first, and then chucks it into there. If you can do that, so it shows it. That. Well, we're getting to four minutes 41, so let's see if it's a five minute or more than a five minute. Right, let's keep going. So A and B are independent. So I know that. So the probability of A or B is A. Is it going to cut out? 
No, we're still going 501 password. Minus the probability of n and a. But we're saying that because it's independent, a or b is a and b minus them both times together. Right, so let's put the numbers in then. So a or b is 0 0.45. So be careful because we're using like that similar number to what was in the previous ones. A is 0 0.2. B I don't know. Minus 0 0.2. What's the probability of B? So if I take that 0 0.2 over there, I've got 0 0.25. Then I've got one lot of B minus 0 0.2 lots of B. So I've got 0 0.8 lots of probability of B. Are we happy with that? That I did one lot of probability of B minus that. Has that gone thicker? I think it has. Switch it back. So if I do, oh, that's gone thicker. Hang on. Change it back down. So 0 0.25, that still isn't amazing. Over 0 0.8 is a probability of B. So a quarter over four eighths uh, will give me, where is it? Uh, yeah, quarter after the eighths. Whew, so there's one there for you to have a go at. So you do exactly the same, so it's exactly the same idea. Um, you can follow it my way, or you can use this completed pack way of doing it. So they kind of like put ones into another, whereas I just switched it in as we go. Right, let's have a look at the next one then. So it says a more challenging question. So this is the last one before we have the consolidation. So let's get through this before it ends so I can do this in one bit. Right, so it says A is 0 0.4, B is 0 0.5, a or B is 0 0.6. So I know that if I use the probability of A or B is A and B minus B and B, the intersect. So what have I got there? So I've got 0 0.6 is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5 minus A and B. So A and B will be 0 0.9 to 0 0.6 is 0 0.3. So I know that the bit in the middle there is 0 0.3. There. Oh, I've actually worked out by A there. Yeah, that's nice. There. So if A is 0 0.4 and A and B is 0 0.3, then that must be a 0 0.1. If B is 0 0.5, then that must be a 0 0.2. So I've used the 0 0.6, I've got 0 0.4 on the other side. So part B, the probability of it not being A, the complement of A, is 1 minus the probability of A. So not A, it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.4. So not A is 0 0.6. There, cool. Right, and let's have a look at C. So C wants the probability of A or not B. So I've got some pictures over there, so, I'm like, so A or not B, and we'll do it that way. So not B is all the way around there. So it's everything else apart from the 0 0.2. So for D, so the probability of A or not B is everything else apart from that little crazy shape with the 0 0.2 in it. So it's 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. So that's D there. So, oh, that's it. Well, that's not hard, is it? More challenging? Oh, yes, more challenging. I guess so. Right, anyway, that's good. I'm glad we're on time with the videos because it doesn't look as bad when we look at the thing. Right, so sorry about using the wrong room yesterday. Uh, some consolidation questions which we'll do in class. Well done, everybody. See you later.